Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while since I have been on here with a little bit longer video. We were enjoying the holidays. I really enjoyed con disconnecting for two weeks and just really taking in all of the family time and all of the holiday activities. And then we had to deal with our big move to our new cabin. So our new property is beautiful. We are in Colorado, deeper into the mountains. We are quite a bit further out of town than we were at our last property. Um, we also have a lot of acreage. I will do a quick mini tour of the cabin for you guys at the end of this video, but I'll do like a better, you know, tour video maybe later this week we are starting some renovations immediately but i'll give you a little tour of the cabin at the end of this video but what we ended up doing was buying this property that has several outbuildings and this main cabin and this cabin is small and i love it it's 1200 square feet it's got just a few bedrooms two bathrooms which is all we need and we're going to be finishing one of the barns into a guest house and that way we have space for all of our friends and family that like to come and stay and visit um, and then we'll also put a little office in there and that'll give us the additional space that we need because in 1200 square feet there just there isn't an office space <laughs> and there's no guest room so that's why we're gonna be um, finishing one of the barns to give us that little bit of additional space but I love it out here like I said I'll give you guys a proper tour um, I'll show you some of the renovations we've already started on and I'll give you a little mini tour at the end of this video. Okay, so for this video, I just wanted to show you guys like some of the weekend prep that I do every week to help me stay on track during the week to help my family eat healthy as well because the week always is busier than I plan on it being. You name it, it gets busy. So if I don't prep, on the weekend, I succumb to what's easy, just like everybody else. So in order for me to be able to stay on track and maintain my 70 pound weight loss, I have to prep. And you don't have to like go crazy prepping. Even if you just prep the bulk items that take the longest to cook on a weeknight, you are helping yourself set up for success so much more. So I'm gonna show you what I did for this week and how prepping this way has really helped me maintain my weight loss. And if you're new to my channel, this is where I show you how I lost 70 pounds and have kept it off with a plant-based diet, eating loads of carbs. Okay, so weekly meal prep is one of the major things that helped me not only lose 70 pounds, but be able to keep it off all these years. So the first thing you wanna do is start with a plan. Decide what meals you're gonna make, then make your grocery list. So this week, I'm just gonna do a potato bar with cheese sauce and broccoli, some Tex-Mex sweet potatoes, some lentil mushroom stew, and some roasted bell pepper pasta. My plan is to prep all of those things ahead of time and make all of my dressings for salad and the pasta, and have snacks and other convenience foods available. So once I get home, I've got all of my groceries. As you can tell, I only bring home things that are going to add to my health. So I start right away by prepping all of my starches. I get my sweet potatoes roasted and then I steam my regular potatoes in the Instapot. And then I get to making all of my dressings. I make ranch every single week, cheese sauce, the roasted bell pepper sauce, and then I move on to making the soup that I wanna have for the week. I get it all cooled and put into containers to put into the fridge and then I always have like these big boxes of greens and then any dips or hummus that I find that are fat free I buy them because if I don't have to make it then that's great for me so the box to greens for me is essential because if I have to wash and chop lettuce every time I want a salad I'm definitely not gonna make a salad but when it comes to pulling meals together it's really easy all you have to heat up is your starches that you already prepped add your sauce give it a toss and then you're ready to go. You can add any fresh ingredients that you want and that's it. That's how quick and easy a meal can come together if you prep ahead of time. This is my number one tip for anybody looking to be successful long term. Now the question I get asked a lot is if my family eats the same food and they do. They just eat more of it because they have higher caloric needs and they add more dressings, more avocados, those sorts of things. So then in my fridge I get it nice and organized. As you can see I have all of my prep stuff 
starches, my sauces. I load the fridge full of fruit and vegetables for the kids to grab for their lunches and for snacks. I always have the freezer loaded with tons of stuff for smoothies for the morning and lots of frozen veggies so that steaming can happen quick and easy. Then I on the counter also have tons of fruit for my growing children that eat like horses. So remember the place to start is to start with a meal plan. Know what you're gonna make and then buy only those groceries for the week. Okay, so this is my adorable little kitchen and I still have bins out everywhere. We've been in the house for one week. So this is it. It's very different from my last kitchen. I We built the last house from ground up, so I designed every square inch of it. This cabin though, I absolutely fell in love with when we saw it. I think it's cute and charming, and I'm gonna go with a whole different cozy vibe with this house. And the countertops are being replaced this week. So I'll show you guys what that's gonna look like. Otherwise, we're keeping the cabinets. And then over here is my really cute little pantry that I've already started renovating. Um, my daughter picked out this paint color and and then my husband made this trim for me and I stained it and I'll show you guys like the before and after but we're gonna go with a very like Scandinavian theme in this house but the pantry is really cute you come in and it goes over to this side and so my husband put up all this trim and everything for me I have some really cute wallpaper coming that I'll show you guys later look at our views guys they just go forever oh I am in love just in love. So this is our cute, cozy little living room. The rest of our sofa hasn't been delivered yet, but I found this really cool faux leather couch, which was really awesome. It's nice and cozy, so I'm really excited about that. There's Nacho, keeping an eye on things. And then this is probably my most favorite part of the house is my little wood burning stove. I love having that. My husband makes a fire in it for me every single day. I love it. And this is it guys. This is pretty much the house. The kitchen is back there. The, the little eating area, my little living room. The views just go forever. I am so happy. But we're just gonna do like, you know, little decorative updates to the house. We are gonna renovate um, the kids' bathroom because it's pretty outdated and um, we just need it to function better for them since they share that. But my husband and his family are Norwegian and I just love the Scandinavian culture. So this house is definitely gonna be a lot like cozier, darker colored um just i don't know cozy vibe whereas my last house was very more modern a mix of modern and traditional scandinavian there's a lot of black tile but a lot of white but with this one i'm definitely going more like scandinavian countryside so i feel very very blessed to be in here i love the size the 1200 square feet is perfect for me so i'm really really happy so I'm just like looking forward to, you know, hanging up our pictures. I got some of these Icelandic cows. We're gonna put those up too. So, so it's exciting. But I'll show you guys more as we get going. This spring is gonna be really fun. We're gonna be putting in gardens and uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. And in the next video, I'll show you guys the barn and stuff. So thank you guys for dealing with you know how erratic my posting schedule has been it's just been a crazy crazy six months we have been through a lot as a family and we just we really needed that time to just kind of deal with what we we're dealing with and you know be together as a family so i really appreciate you guys um and for those following my thyroid healing journey i have an appointment this week with my thyroid specialist to kind of check up on things and see how things are going so i'll hopefully have an update for you guys on that front soon as well all right well i love you guys remember when it comes to prep keep it simple get the bulk items taken care of your starches and your sauces 
at a minimum, get those done. If you just do those two things, you are setting yourself up for success that much more because who wants to come home after a long day and boil potatoes? Like I don't. So, so I get that all done ahead of time. That way I'm just heating up, putting together. All right, I love you guys. Remember to love yourselves and spread that love to somebody else. I'll see you guys next time.